Lou, just following up on, on a point that you'd raised earlier about um, social issues related to Red Plus. Mm -hmm. Um, a major study by C4, which is going to be released soon, is showing that women are participating less in Red Plus processes. They know very little about Red Plus as well. And I think that that's going to undermine, seriously undermine, both the efficacy and legitimacy of Red Plus. Mm -hmm. um, what can be done to safeguard um, these issues and ensure that Red Plus is more inclusive? Well, that, that's a very good question. Um, <coughs> You know, there, there, are, there is an international commitment to a certain number of safeguards within, uh, within the, the, the implementation of the RED mechanism. And amongst that is free prior informed consent of people who are currently using forest resources. And, and we know that, that uh, you know, women make up more than 50% of rural populations because of, of, of rural to urban migration. You know, women tend to be more present in, in the, the villages and in making the decisions about how land is managed in these villages. So it's extremely important to bring them into to the discussion and, and, and have their, their concerns recognized. Civil society has a huge role to play in this right now and, and is trying to play that role. Um, but I think there's also, a, the onus is on, a bit on the governments to make some extra steps as they put in place their red mechanisms to make sure that their internal uh, national consultative processes are, are taking women's issues into account, that, that women are at the table and, and they're well represented, that their views are represented. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that the international community is committed to, but, but again, it, we're, it, we're early days in, in the implementation and, and things are not perfect and, and clearly this is one area where, where rapid progress it would, should, should be made um, and, and this should be made a, a matter of priority for national processes and, and the international community needs to step up and, and make sure that uh, when countries report on what they're doing with respect to uh, the, these safeguards and, and the implementation of these safeguards, that these questions are asked, particularly about gender and, and, and uh, disadvantaged communities, marginalized communities within society.